Hello and welcome RC Shim in my hangar and today I'm gonna be showing you some different chargers. This Ultra Power UP400 AC Duo. A quick run through the specs. It can charge two batteries at the same time with different settings of course. One side, the red side, is the more powerful. It can charge up to 400 watts and the other side can charge to 200. So that's a pretty powerful charger. You can charge a 6S battery with it that has 15,000 milliamps. So this can charge quite big batteries. It can uh, charge the high voltage cells. I've already seen this. And the discharge is already quite high. You can discharge with 40 watts and then the second one with 25 watts. That's quite high. So that's a discharge current up to 8 amps, which is nice if you want to store your batteries. Okay, so this is a quite massive charger. It's all in metal. It's a good build quality. All the connectors are on the side except for the input power which could be from your car and on the other side you have the AC power plug 100 to 240 volts uh, it only comes with one XT60 plug and it has two Dean's plugs which I don't need so I got a second XT60 plug it has two of these adapter plates for the cells. Nice feature is uh, it can charge USB powered things as well. So if you may be having a little USB charger for your mini quad, you can charge this with this also. It has two USB ports, but to use those, you gotta buy an extra accessory and USB something with the software. So I couldn't find software to download to see some additional charge curves or stuff like that. So the USB ports are there, but they are useless unless you buy something in addition. So it's a little downside. It has temperature controlled fans on both sides. And for normal charging, I didn't hear uh, much at all from this charger. But if it gets too hot inside, it will, it will turn on the fans, which sounds nice. Okay, so you can browse through different programs. You can even store up to, I think, 10 different uh, batteries to have them preset, but I think it's just easier to set the batteries each time. Uh, you can charge lead batteries, nickel cadmium batteries, nickel metal, metal hydride, lipos, lithium ions, live batteries, Lithium high volt, that's what we're talking about, uh, the 4.35 volts per cell. You have a little battery meter. It's just displaying six values of the single cells if you have a battery attached. Uh, you can switch the display the main voltage now is 14.97 volts. The highest is 374 and the lowest is You get it. Under system settings, okay, you can set some default values like 10 minutes waiting time between charging and discharging. Safety timer, it only charges for two hours. Capacity cutoff, okay. If for some default you have a 2000 milliamp battery and it charges more than 3000, you're making something completely wrong. So you can set a cutoff here. Some beep settings. What I didn't find is you cannot change the end ringtone, so to say. Input power low. If you're charging really from a battery, you can set a low threshold. If the power source goes below, below 11 volts, then it will quit. Let's see the temperature. 
Let's see the firmware version. Yeah, that's pretty basic stuff there. In lithium high voltage, four cells, four S pack means 15.2 volts. So now I'm going to lithium polymer batteries. And this is really just basic usage as you have on the really cheap tiny chargers. You set the amps. I have a 1300 milliamp battery, so I'm setting 1.3 amps. You can increase the number of cells. I'm using a 4S battery. And if I long press the start button, it checks the battery. Read and set is OK. And you have to press start once again. And then not much magic happens. You see here the counter for the milliamps charged. You see that it starts with lower amps and now goes up to 1.2, 1.3 amps. It shows the current voltage, the time, the milliamps. And with the middle two buttons you can you can see the set end voltage which is 16.8 in my case the in power the temperature the internal the temperature cutoff okay safety timer capacity blah 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 and on the other button you see something interesting the single cell voltages so here you would see if you have a damaged cell and one is very far off where even the balancer has its issues so you would see the problems here to return to the screen don't press the stop this will stop the whole thing press the enter button or the start okay of course the same applies to the other side this is just a lower rated charger so this can only charge 200 watts and this can charge 400 watts but right now we are charging with about uh, 20 watts so I don't often need the 400 watts power you only need this for really big fat lipos okay for a comparison I show you the Grobner German brand Ultra Duo Plus 60 it's I have this for quite a few years now. Uh, it's an expensive one. I think it's $300, $350, but I will link you the price and give you a link to this product. It's a dual charger with two separate charging engines with many functions. And you all control it with this wheel and knob thingy here, which is nice. And you have a lot of buttons. So on the bottom side here you can switch between the two outputs. You can have up to 60 battery profiles and I was used to use the numbers of my batteries as the storage numbers here. But now the numbers exceeded this 60 mark and I've, I've reverted back to just have a few standard battery profiles. So the number one for me is a LiPo with a 4S LiPo with 1300, the most used at the moment. Um, under charge I can again set the power, the voltage, how, how far up it will charge. You could decrease this to save your battery life a bit if you only charge it to like 4.17 volts. Your battery will live longer but have less less power in it. You have some capacity and safety features as well. You can discharge it here up to 10 amps and you can set yeah 3 volts would be dead battery then. Of course you would have to discharge it like 3.7 volts or something like this. You can charge discharge in a few cycles. You can just checking the balancer. So this charger has a lot of options in there. You can check again 1.3 volt for 2. It's fine. And I could now either just click one 
and let it check everything and move to the second part and set up the second battery and this will just start in a few seconds or you can long press here and acknowledge four cells and have it start sooner these are the time, the milliamps, the current voltage the power it puts in at the moment, 1.3 amps the inner resistance which comes up only after a few minutes of charging charging you can see a graphical curve of the charge voltage which is interesting but kinda useless for me this is interesting it's, it shows the balancing the single cell voltages in bar graph and it automatically zooms this so this is a quite nice battery all at the same levels or kinda the same levels I like to check these on suspicious batteries. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Ultra Duo here. Pretty good charger. And the usage is nice. So the buttons still work. I mean, it's a bit weird to have to switch between the two screens and not just type on the screens or something like this. But it's okay once you're used to it. Uh, the spin wheel and push button combination is really fast if you have to enter data, so that's it's a really nice option. This is the third one of my dual chargers. This is maybe the most compact in comparison to my quite large hand. That's nice. It has little stands on the back, so you can f have it being even smaller. It has this huge adapter plates which I don't totally like because I normally only use the XH ones I kinda marked them to find them easier on the plate what's nice here this one features a touch screen okay so I could even set it in English for you guys so you, you switch between the two channels on top here but you can also view both at the same time while charging and yeah what are the main functions again charge discharge cycle balance storage and few data it can't charge lithium high volt batteries i'm afraid we can only char charge up to 4.3 volts with this so it doesn't fully support lithium high voltages. If you need this, that's a no-go maybe. So we, cha we choose type LiPo. We can set four cells. We set our capacity here. And with the capacity it also sets the charging rate to 1.3 amps corresponding to the capacity. But you can also move up the capacity to 2C so now I would charge faster but maybe damage the battery but it will know that it only has 1.3 amp hours so it wouldn't charge more capacity than this so you can set both discharge oh, okay what else could we do we could alter the end voltage again we could save some battery life by lowering, lowering this balancing on or off of course I want to balance melody you can set different melodies so we set everything correctly I just long press charge it checks the battery and immediately starts so this is one of the most easy to use chargers with powerful functions while charging you see nice big balancing bars and also the values here so that's really a good overview you can also see a graphic on this good graphic display where you see the charge curve you can of course stop and if I'm now in the split view I see on this side how he charges it in compact overview and the other side is doing nothing at the moment I could set up my second battery here on channel 2 charge something completely different 
and see both in the split screen mode. That's really the charger I'm taking with me on a trip uh, because it's a dual charger and it's quite small. So I like it. So if you need to charge from your car battery on the flight field, you have this, I think that's a wonderful invention. You have these clamps which plug into banana plugs or the other way around. You attach these clamps to the battery and the XT60 plug here on the side of the charger. So the charger has its supply from which can rate from 11 to 18 volts. And if you don't want to use these clamps, I also found this car adapter that goes in your cigarette lightning port. This is the same for the ultra power, uh, but not for the Kraupner. The Kraupner has a fixed cable on the back with two banana plugs, which you would have to attach to those clamps. I mean, the functions are pretty basic, but yeah, all you need, and you can be quite quick in, in moving around in the menu, and it's like using two of these old school little chargers that everyone had, but it's in a really powerful package. Good build quality, good fan, high power rating. Probably that's one of the main reasons to get this for you. So you can charge a 6S 15,000 milliamp battery. Really large batteries on one side. The USB power plug is a good idea. Can charge lithium high voltage batteries. That's a big plus. And yeah, size. I mean, it's not the typical charger you would throw in your backpack. It's quite heavy, it has two and a half kilos. For mobile use, I use this Team Orion charger. Yeah, from the user interface, I'm still a fan of the Kropner. With the spin wheel, it's really fast to use it. I'm also a fan of the touchscreen, although the touchscreen doesn't respond as good as you might want all the time, so it's a bit cheap here, but yeah, the touchscreen is nice and it's really intuitive to, to use it. And yeah, the special story about this charger here. David Winterstahl and Jet Kepper already charged with this charger, so that makes it kind of special for me. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching this. Hit subscribe if you didn't already, if you're new to my channel, and check back next time, next week, maybe. Yeah. See you, bye.